Hmm, looks like I have a new message on the radio. Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well. She sounded remarkably composed, given that the Aurora just crashed and whatnot. Uh, of course, being the captain, I am the most composed of all, so... Captain's Log, Stardate 1234-5... Eight? Yeah, that's it. Responding to a distress signal from Life Pod 3. We have discovered the Life Pod and it doesn't look good. What's this? Ooh, a compass. That's useful. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Well, turns out you were right to be terrified, crew member. Because there was a sea glide fragment right outside the pod, so I can only assume it overloaded and killed you all. I've also looted everything I can from your uh, vehicle, your escape pod, or the corpse of it. So I believe I've done my due diligence as a captain. Along the way to respond to this distress call, as any captain would, I also encountered fish that seemed, for all intents and purposes, to be plague-ridden. Uh, they had green pustules around them. It was very disgusting. What new fresh hell is this? It appears it was not a new hell at all, but our old hell. Yes, it, it appears that the computer's repeated assistance that I do a self-scan and that there is unknown bacteria in the water and whatnot may not in fact be a veiled plan to kill us. Like it might actually be helpful good advice, which is terrifying on a whole new level. We just found a stalker tooth outside this piece of the aurora. Um, let's try not to collect any more of those, shall we? One thing we gained during that little mission, besides an appreciation for the teeth of predators, uh, is knowledge of how to create our own sea glide. Hopefully one that doesn't have the same exploding problem as the one Life Pod 3 made. Uh, we live in hope. Also of interest, we have discovered the compass. Which... Should also help us a great deal. Although the fact that we're headed towards the Aurora, eventually, inevitably, and the Aurora's a giant thing on the horizon, also helpful. Well, it appears as though the radio has yet another message for us. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 
Uh... I believe we will wait before we go to that one. Being as the grim looking snake thing is likely to eat us as well. Captain's log. One, two, three, four. Four, two. A serious upgrade in our living conditions has resulted from something called the grav trap, which imprisons nearby swimming animals in a circle around it and also the bird things which is disturbing i will grant you but also extremely profitable speaking of deployables we also have the blueprint for a mobile vehicle bay which we will be using next i'm unsure exactly what mobile vehicles will be able to create but We'll definitely be able to do something. Presumably. Time to see if it actually works. Uh. Perhaps we shall try that again. But this time. It'll work. Aha. See? What did I tell ya? I should always listen to myself. I am the captain after all. And I believe we actually have the majority of what we need to create a sea moth. Which is a submersible vehicle. After much arduous resource gathering on my part, we finally have the means to construct a sea moth. A sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Welcome aboard, Captain. Very nice. Very nice. Ha ha! Stalker. Who's the stalker now? Are you dead? I think we killed it. It appears to be rolling downhill. Well, whether it's dead or not, I don't know, but uh, I think we can call it a win either way. Now equipped to the sea moth, I think we can safely check out that life pod 17 at this point i can only assume that the people who are being menaced by the snake thing are in fact quite dead uh but looting their corpses should be profitable for me so their death was not in vain What are you doing here? They really live up to their namesake, don't they, those stalkers? And I had forgotten, of course, but Life Pod 17 is the first Life Pod we ever found. And yes, its inhabitants are quite eaten. 
I am interested in the cave system they said was near to them, however. Captain's log, one, two, three, four. Six. Nine. <sighs> I have discovered a new biome or cave system with a new biome in it. It's uh, difficult to distinguish the two, but it appears to be primarily made up of horrible snake things and neon pink bioluminescent fungi. I can only assume that this is this planet's answer to a gay club. The computer also claims that there is an artificial structure in this neonness. So we are now attempting to locate that with the sea moth. The issue comes that the sea moth. Uh, wonderful though it is, has a crush depth of 200 meters, and this cave is in fact quite a bit deeper than that. Well, that was fun while it lasted. This is an interesting view. Captain's log, one, two, three, four, five, eight. Well, that adventure ended abruptly, although perhaps predictably. I suppose my only option at this point is to remake a new Seamoth. I'm certain nothing will go wrong twice. I mean, what are the chances, really? See, look at that. It's like it never even happened. A backup plan. That's what good captains have. Hello, backup plan. Welcome aboard, Captain. Guess it's time for introductions. Guess it's time for medical intervention. He sounds like he's just asphyxiating. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Sephiroth? You're... Do I need to give you the Heimlich, Sephiroth? The cloud. He does like to play hard to get, doesn't he? <laughs> 